Hey guys, this is Elliot at UCSF Hospitals Baker Institute for Computational Health, and today I'm going to be talking about COVID-19. So currently it's the beginning of April, and in the United States, COVID has started picking up, and people are scared. You might be asking yourself, what will happen to me, my family, my friends, what will happen where I live? Here at the Baker Institute, we have been working nonstop, day and night, to try and give people a better idea of what's happening. We created a website called covidcounties.org, which tells people what's happening in the county where they live. This isn't just a tool that's useful for individuals, but also for medical professionals and policymakers who are trying to figure out important things like when their hospitals are not going to have enough space for sick people. I'm going to give a tutorial on how to use this website to find information about COVID cases for the specific county that you live in. I'm going to also show some interesting findings that we've gotten from this website, and then I'm going to talk about future directions that the Baker Institute is moving with it. We hope that this tool can be used for both the general public and medical professionals. All right, so let's get started. You can reach our website by going to covidcounties.com. Dot org. Currently, when you go there, it might take a few seconds for the page to load. Um, that's because we're really coding this website as I'm making this tutorial to get it out to you. Um, but as the weeks go by, the site will pick up speed. So on this website, you can find information for all the 3,142 counties in the United States. The counties are organized by state, so you can search for your state inside of the dropdown. Then you can scroll down and you can type the name of the county that you live in. You'll then have a graph that shows all of the COVID cases that have happened since the pandemic started in your area. To get a comparison about what these numbers mean, you might want to look up some other counties that you know are close by to you. If you don't know which counties are close by, you can go to the map of your state and then you can zoom in on the region where you live. You can then click counties to get information about them. Each map and graph that you see in our COVID counties website is interactive. So you can do things like zoom in on a specific part of the graph. In the upper right-hand corner of the graph, you can do things like take a screenshot or reset the graph to its original view. Now, here you just see a graph of the number of cases over time, but COVID counties actually gives you a lot more information than just that. So you can plot cases but you can also look at how many people have died in your county. In the graph below, it might look like Los Angeles is way worse than San Francisco or San Mateo. But if we actually redo this graph according to how many people live in these different regions, we see that that's not really the case anymore. After you look at some initial data from your county and counties around it, I definitely recommend playing with these more advanced features that you can find. So I've been showing data from San Francisco because that's where I live, but you can find this data for everywhere. If you scroll down to the bottom of the map of the United States, you can click on the state that you live in to get more information about that place. 
And even though in the news right now, you only hear about the big cities like New York, COVID is everywhere. Like when we look at Mississippi, we see that this county called Tippa County in the north of the state has more than twice the number of cases per capita than San Francisco, which is one of the first cities to even get it in the U.S. No matter where you live, this website will give you a better understanding of what is happening and the direction that things are moving in the next few weeks. By the way, to look at uh, the Tippa County specifically, you can double click it on the side to see just that county. And then you can actually uh, tap other counties to add them into the graph. So I hope you can see that this website, covidcounties.org, is useful for anybody living in the United States who wants a better idea of what's happening where they live. At the Baker Institute, we are coding this website 24-7, day and night. So probably by the time that you visit this website, there'll be even more features that are helpful for you to understand COVID in your county. For example, we're talking about using advanced statistical tools to predict the trajectories of where this data is going. And then we're also talking about finding how many hospital beds are actually in your county so that we can show at what point there are no longer any more beds for the sick people in the place where you live. We've also been looking at policy decisions that people are making in different counties. While you hear a lot about Trump and the things that are happening at the national level, it's actually the decisions that your community decides to make locally that will have the biggest effect on your health. Please keep visiting the website to see all of the latest updates that we're making to it. And if there's things that you would like to see on this website, or if you're another scientist who would like to collaborate with this effort, you can contact us uh, using the email in the link. Another great way to reach out is to write a comment in this YouTube video. Also, please read the video's description for any breaking updates that might be happening with our COVID research. If you thought this video was helpful, click the like and subscribe button. This is Elliot at the Baker Institute. Stay safe.